Hello everyone, it's time to get crafty. Today I'm going to be looking at the Crafter's Companion Time to Celebrate Crystal Art Card Kit. So I'm going to show you what's inside this neat little box. So it all comes nicely packaged. So we've got a sheet with instructions. We've then got in a separate packet lots of little Ziploc bags, a little square of wax and our gem pickup tool. Whole package of different coloured rhinestones. And there are lots of different colours and they are actually like little crystals. And then we've got four envelopes and then our four card bases. The card bases have a plastic protective film on them and we have like a wedding cake, a set of balloons, champagne and glasses and then a lovely uh, afternoon tea setting. So I'm starting off with our first colour and I like to work from top to bottom when I do the crystal art and I've dipped my little gem picky up tool into the uh, adhesive wax that just helps the gems to stick to the pick up tool and I'm working across the top of the cake adding in the gems so I've done the two different colors for the heart and I'm moving into the pinks for the cake what's really neat about this kit is that the gem colors in their little packets are all labeled A through to um, P or maybe a bit further instead of having to look at um, packets with long numbers on and then matching that back to a grid with like some crystal art kits that you get these are really simple to follow so you find the letter on the card base and then you find the coordinating gems and start sticking them on it is a really simple process and um, it is really quite relaxing to do this and I'm just enjoying putting in the different colours as I go. And now I've moved into the teal aqua colour. And <laughs> I do have a few moments where I think I've got one on my, the end of my pickup tool and go to place it down. And of course, I don't have one on there. So um, that happens quite often. You think you've got one on the end of the pickup tool and you realize that you don't and there's a couple of times when I've gone to put it down and um, I don't know had a bit of a handshake and it's gone on a bit crooked it is quite easy to just lift them up again you can use a pair of tweezers or um, fingernail like I just did then or you can even use like your die um, pick that you use to pick out the paper from it, the dies and then you just simply reattach it back into position. I found that the easiest way to make sure you get them exactly in position over the letter and the little uh, circle outline that goes around the letter is to make sure when you're picking them up that you get the gemstone centered in the pickup tool. And that way, when you go to place it down, you know that you've got it centered and it should go nice and neatly over top of the letter that you're putting the gemstones on. And I'm onto the bottom layer of the cake now. And it's very sparkly. I don't think the camera really picks up how pretty and sparkly the card is with all the little um, gemstone crystals on there now they're not actually crystal they are a like an acrylic gemstone with a silver mirror backing but they do sparkle really lovely there were a couple gemstones in the packs that I used so far that were missing um, the silver off the back but it's only been like two or three so they do give you plenty of gemstones in the little packets so that if you do have an accident and you drop some which i have done several times that you've got spare gemstones there so you don't need to panic if you do drop them 
um, and if you do find any gemstones that aren't quite perfect then same situation you do have spares there to make sure that you got enough to do all the different cards in the kit now I'm just finishing off that bottom row there and moving into doing the cake platter in a moment it's such a really cute design this cake it is lovely and I love the combination of the blush pinks and the bright pinks with the teal and that little touch of the dark emerald green on the flowers with the leaves it's lovely I am also going to show you how I dress up the card or make it a little bit different to um, how it originally come because I just felt like I wanted a sentiment on the front and maybe a little bit of um, decoration just to make it a little bit different. So here is the end product after I finished putting all the gemstones on. I have used some Love From Lizzie holographic pink pinstripe peel offs. I used the thicker one in on the bottom row and then two of the thinnest peel offs above that. I've also die cut the word congrats out of teal foil cardstock and then layered that up with three more of uh, white cardstock behind that to give lots of dimension. And then on the inside I have added a light pink lining and then stamped happily ever after for a wedding card. I think that's probably a really cute greeting to have inside. I also use my corner chomper to round the outside edges of my card as well as the corners on the pink card insert. Thank you for joining me today as I made this gorgeous sparkly card. Please come back again and see what I make next. Have a great day and bye for now.